coming to you from the middle of Texas. She's focused on the road. She's driving. Um, we've been having some great conversations as we're heading to our move and landing in Southern California, Dana Point. Uh, we want to make sure that we're introducing ourselves to the community out there. And we have our brand. We're kind of building uh, our, our concept together as well as each of our individual brands. So in this modern age of social media uh, and branding, uh, we, we're trying to kind of really, really stick to our authenticity. So something that keeps coming up for us that we, we bonded over, uh, which bond was our last um, concept and just didn't, didn't quite stick for us. We still like it, uh, but we're, we're, I think we're gonna move into our next iteration of our brand so you guys can kind of be on that journey with us and the road trip all the journeys so energia is uh something we picked up from the book the courage to be disliked excellent book highly recommended by her jerry durham ironically yeah. uh gave it as a gift at the mastermind we did in san diego with aaron labauer uh it was funny we're like we have this on our nightstand mm -hmm. so uh, that's where I think you saw the word, yeah? The word energy, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. book, yeah. So uh, it is an Aristotelian Greek word. Yep. Um, it doesn't have a clear definition, but it has these different concepts in it, like potentiality and actuality. So this is also how we came together to want to work together to provide couples and relationships in general with the tools to reach their potential um, and also be in the moment. So that's kind of that actuality component. So we, we really like this concept. We've been kind of told it's spelled weird. It looks like the word energy. Um, you know, it's not the best for branding, uh, but we're still thinking about it. So either someone's gonna steal this from us if they see this video and they're like, I'm gonna steal that concept or they're just going to, uh, we'll see We'll see where it takes us. So Maha, what is, Energia mean to you? So the reason I like that word when I was reading the book is he, the way he described it or defined it in the book is um, that it was about the journey. Mm. Uh, it, you know that if you if you want if you want to climb a mountain, you can do two things. You can either like get a helicopter and take it to the top and reach the top. If your focus is the outcome or the end result. Uh, the other option is to actually climb the mountain yourself and enjoy the journey. Um, and I really love that concept because um, many things in life are that way, that you just have to literally be in the journey, enjoy the journey. Sometimes it's not enjoyable, but that's the journey that you need to go through rather than focusing on the outcome and on the end result. Um, and uh, that's, that's kind of the concept that I want to encourage people to get more focused on uh, so when I saw that in the book it really resonated with me and I uh, I think it's important for a lot of people to be more in the journey and focus on whatever they're doing right now to be fully wholeheartedly immersed in it rather than you know thinking about the next thing um, so yeah that's what one of the ways you can define energy and look at energy and that's and I really like the word it's like a powerful word too for me. Uh, so yeah, that was it. All right. <laughs> and that's why I love this woman. That's right. That's why we, we connect. Is it? That's why. <laughs> that passion, the power, the potentiality. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yes, Energia, the journey. Uh, yeah, in, fi in fitness, I'll, I'll touch on that on my side of things. We say kind of trust the process. Mm -hmm. um, and that's related to therapy as well. Yeah, totally. So you know, that whole process of getting to where we need to get you. It's not about just treating the symptoms. I think that's a big thing on both of our ends. And again, that we, we connect it over is we don't want to just fix the, the, the symptoms. So if you come to me with back pain, I have my ways of getting you out of pain, but I also want to make sure we're figure out how to encourage that to not come back. Right, so we wanna we wanna bulletproof you. Um, we wanna use all these fun terms, but we wanna be authentic in in finding the cause of the symptom and making sure it's it's gone. So whether that's from the mental side of things or the physical side of things, 
that's what we're bringing. And even in um, people's intimate lives, uh, a, lot, a lot of the times people are focusing on the end result, which causes a lot of stress and anxiety. So, you know, being in the moment um, it, and, and focusing on the process is another helpful tool to resolve a lot of these anxieties that people have and difficulties people have with their intimate lives. You heard it here first. <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attribute that to Faraz. It's been a long road trip. This is a long video, but if you watched all the way through, thank you. Uh, this is the 13th day of our road trip. Uh, we are landing, we have, we're getting to El Paso, then Scottsdale, then Southern California. So yeah, I'm gonna blame some of this crazy on that. Tell us what you think about the word. Yes, please do. We'll probably try to cut this up if I can do that magic. Working on my skills on the uh, social medias. All right. Talk to you later.